Morning. Hello and welcome to my daily video. Yes, every single day I do a video about life on our beef and arable farm here. Um, so first things first, as every day, we gotta go and feed the cattle. Andy's not here either. M's not here. It's just me and my dad, so we're gonna be busy. These fellas are all waiting for me. Look, they're hungry. They're wanting the meal. Got plenty of hay, but they want the good stuff. So it's time to jump on a machine. Today mine's going to be the Teagle straw blower on the John Deere 130. My dad'll be on that, and uh, we'll get these guys fed. And we're off. We'll get out of this shed. We'll um, go around and we'll get some straw up. So I better put my oil flow in. Turn the Bluetooth box on, and we can operate everything now. So we're all ready to go. Time we blow a bale out. We've got to put one back in. Now that's why we've got all the bales lined up in rows because I just back up to him and this door moves to scoop them up. So now I've just got to cut the bands and we uh, we can get off and put this bale out. Don't know if you remember Andy bringing up about the lights and dimming that screen. Now check this out, right? So I put the side lights on and it doesn't dim the screen. It's only when you put the main lights on. I found that a little bit weird. Like, I'm sure every single car that I've ever had, when you put, just check it in your car, when you put your side lights on, it dims everything. So I'm like, Andy, why are you driving around with actual full beams on? I don't know, it's, that's how it works in a John Deere. Do you think that's weird or is it just is it just me? I don't know, I don't know, just, I thought it was weird. Come out with the DM now. A bit slow on the, pressing the record button then. What I do love about this 6130 is, so, so nimble. Like, it can nearly turn around on itself. Just whoosh, we're round. And we can get back up onto those bales. That white pigeon that stands up tall there, when it flies towards you, it looks like an owl. After Andy, before, when he said, oh, there's an owl in there. And I like laughing my head off at him. Then I've seen it a few times, and I'm like, it makes you like look twice. So there we have the reason we were moving cows round all yesterday. We need this pen free because we're going to get some new cattle soon. So I've done all the places that I can without going into the sheds. I'll come down, let my dad in a few of the pens and then he'll let me in a few and we'll be done. Now he's just feeding down this uh, feed truck, I suppose you can call it, in the big shed. And I'll come in here and I'll straw these guys up. Yes, what's up? There's normally some friendly ones in here. It says. Thought I found one. I found one. Came up behind me, licking me. Hey, you're lovely, aren't you? Hey, you're lovely. Going a bit bald on your top. For some reason. You are lovely. I say, still got to straw these guys up. So they're all busy eating now. That Hereford, that's just like the one that got its head stuck. We'll not get stuck in here. Yeah, you're all happy? That's what we like to see. Another pen here that we're just feeding out into. A little straw in the background. You just have a good lick, lad. Keith's come to pick some uh, pheasants and ducks up because we're going to get some plucking done. But he is a national, well, I'll let you tell, national champion. Tell us what you're national champion, oh, National champion with tomatoes and shallots at present. And you have been, how many times you've won that? Tomatoes six times, shallots four times. 
<laughs> uh, it's strongest man I've ever seen. You still do it with Elmer? <laughs> Here you get uh, what what how many what are you for it now? Uh, strike strike Go like that, touch your nose and then bring it back. We set seven pounds down with that seat. Strike it, that was fourteen pounds. Fourteen pound. End up nose and up. And hope that your nose is still it up to you. Yeah, Keith's another person like Mick and like Ash who's come and helped us on farm a lot over the years. Um, we're concreting, like, fantastic at concreting. Um, and, yeah, if, if my dad goes shooting and um, he gets any birds, Keith always has a few. And uh, keeps, him, keeps him happy, keeps him right. But, yeah, he is um, a prize-winning vegetable grower. Um, so I'll check out his allotment, maybe one... Uh, one video in the summer when he's got his tomatoes ready and uh, he can tell us a little bit more about it. I'm going to send the drone up and uh, see if we can get some nice shots off around the farm before it starts raining. It looks like it's going to rain. It's not waterproof. Drone time was caught short because it's drizzling a little bit here now in South Yorkshire. Um, but yeah, it's just nice just to use that to have a look around and check the gutters and bits and bobs like that. So, um, you know, I'm trying to find a use for something that I bought, I suppose, rather than having a use for something and needing to buy something for it. But anyway, it's uh, is what it is. I enjoy using it. We've not got enough mix done. Uh, for tomorrow so we'll get the mixer out there and we'll get to uh, we'll get one started for tomorrow i mean for today there's not enough there for this evening so i've got that all started now um i just need to go and get some hay get the tm and we'll start filling it up i was looking um uh, about a year ago on the videos and we're using the maze we're about a month like further forward than what we were last year so that's probably going to run out quicker than we expect i think um so yeah that's not good but we'll find some feed we'll just buy some feed from somewhere else um you know we're always buying barley and stuff like that so we've got to keep his eye on the cost and stuff but i'm not worried i'm not worried so i'm in the tm first time in this morning so i better change the gears my dad drives around in it in third like this is so slow and as soon as you let the foot off the accelerator watch this you like it like jolts you to a hot halt maybe you can't tell that much on the camera but let off and it, you bring back down to a, to a halt now i always drive around in fifth 
because then you've not got as much power initially so if you're pushing up against a wall like there you don't push the wall through you've also got a bit more speed and when you let off the accelerator you've got a nice roll it keeps rolling oh and it's nice it's just much more relaxed driving so i've tipped the part bale of here into the mixer now we're just going to get the silage grab on like so and we'll cut some silage put it straight into the mixer weighing it in i might cut a bit more out then after and then i've got to go over to the fodder beat uh, pulp and cut a bit of that out muck your windows so i'm just biting bits out of the face I've said it a lot of times but cutting this stuff out of here is very enjoyable i mean look at the the finish that it gives we've had some uneven cutting there by somebody but like it just comes out so nice compared to the maze yeah on that one somebody's bit in too much and it it's sort of in my ocd so um i'm gonna go and tidy it up right that, that's marginally better marginally better right so we've got to start back down this end and then we'll keep walk, working across to keep it fresh all right i've done cutting so we'll get these pipes off they will operate the three rams three biting rams now we'll get the bucket back on and we'll put that fodder beat we just chopped out in the mixer ideally this clamp would be a lot closer to the mixer um, and we just use a grab and put it in but you know the ideal doesn't isn't always the reality is it so uh, we just bucket it across because then i'm not going to spill any going across the yard whereas with the grab i think i would so right we'll get this uh, we'll get this shoveled up so I just headed down the yard now, we've got all the stuff in that we need. Molasses, barley, that's it, then we're done. Right, so I'll just weigh this in. There we go. I had to pull the mixer a bit forward more than normal because this strip was left by my dad this morning. <laughs> I've just had a fairly close call uh, going out. I don't know if you can see the two skid marks uh, coming round. I just set off. And it was heading straight for the diesel tank. And um, yeah, I didn't think we were going to stop, but we did anyway. Uh, it was close, that one. Literally just had to change the course of going out of the shed by like half a metre. And it's just got onto that wet, slippy stuff and I can ice skate in me. So yeah, maybe we need to uh, slow down a bit. Right, so I'll just tidy this, uh, this meal up here and then we can uh, tip it on it off basically just trying to get it away from the mixer without damaging it that'd be perfect that'll be alright I think I've just dished out all the meal that was there I have kept it in the bucket ready for tonight's feed and then we'll put the fresh stuff out now that old stuff went to the back, it yeah, just started warming up, started going up a bit, smell different to the cattle, and they won't like it. So let's just try and keep it as fresh as possible, man. Alright, job done. I've pulled it back up the yard there. We'll get another mix done this afternoon. Right now, it's time for me to have my roast beef, Yorkshire pudding, and all that business. Um, yeah, it's Sunday dinner time lunch sorted so i'm going to do yet another mix so i'll not bore you with that and then i'm going to put some bales out so we'll fast forward to the bales bit i think there's been for his lunch as well there he is repping a joe seals hoodie nice while i've got merchandise on the brain i've run into the house i put my g lay on too good for wearing on the farm too good i don't want to get it mucky um got pockets on it and it's a pre-order so what i'm going to do is so i don't have to lay all the money out and buy loads of sizes that people don't even want um i'm putting it on a pre-order so that um it's an advantage to me basically but what i've done is i've knocked 20 percent off so it's also an advantage to you so um yeah save a little bit help um our channel out a bit gives us a bit of money and um everybody's happy you get a nice gilet fleece gilet oh it's lovely i like it see i've got see what top i've got on underneath here the one that becky got me as a laugh last christmas 
This was this was a joke last Christmas. Well, check this out. I've got my own gilet now. We've got the hats. We've got the t-shirts. We've got the mugs. We've got everything. Check it out on joeseals.com. Thanks, guys. Business. You'd have said to me a couple of years ago, Joe, you'll be selling gilets with your name on it. I'd have laughed it out of the park. Um, but it's it's nice and it's it really excites excites me when I get another ping on my phone and somebody's bought something from the shop. Um, yeah, it's good. Right, so anyway, I'm going to jump on the 9 meter and we're going to go and get some straw. We're going to get some farming stuff done. We're not going to just keep plugging the merch. <laughs> she took a bit longer than normal to start then, but she has started. Ah, 9 meter. Yay. Giving me issues. Maybe I could use the merch money one day. No, I don't talk about it again, but maybe I could use it to fund another telehandler. We're at toy telehandler level at the minute. Like I could buy a Britain's one. But, you know, one day, if I get to Mr. Pemberton or Mr. Bloggs' level, we can start funding some proper stuff. Some proper machines. So I'm down here. I'm trying to hold the camera out of the window because the windows are quite mucky. Um, and we've got two of the easy bales, we're on the bottom floor. It's just, life's too easy today. I mean, I am gonna go, uh, actually, yeah, I'm gonna have to take some from the top in a minute. So we need to take at least nine round. Uh, 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 there we go. Right, let's get these off and up the yard. I've just found my tripod to hand, so I'm gonna set this up on the gate and we can see us getting down from the top of the stack. mix coming I think with some barley tomorrow so I better push these loads that they got tipped way 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 away from the pile but um, I can only blame myself because I was there actually because just marvelling at his, um, his 6610 beautiful tractor so I'll just push this in and then when he comes with his little loads he can tip him that last few bits of feeding are getting done now Dad's come out to open the gates for me. Then I'll be about done. On the 130 now, we'll pull this in. Uh, to Andy and M, if you're watching this, it was my dad who pulled the mixer in forwards. It'll just make their life a little bit more difficult tomorrow, so they'll have to back up that out and spin it round. But they'll get it, they'll get it. Just cut the bands on the bale there for Andy because he always does it for me, so I better do it for him as well. But we're getting towards the end of the video now, so I just want to say if people have liked it, remember to press the like button and subscribe if you've not already. And me, Andy and Em, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye. Band off today. Before I go, remember, Mixer Mentions, if you want to get your name on the mixer and we do a bit of work for charity raising money for air ambulance so if you want to get your name on it links in the description below let's try and raise a lot of money for charity this year that's going to be a goal and that's going to be like a new year's resolution to raise money for charity more money more money than last year business see you later guys have a great sunday bye